What's good, Wolfpack? I'm Kevin Cativo. And I'm Persephone. Today is May 8th, and welcome to another Distance Learning Show. Let's start off with the quick fact. On March 12th, House was received the official Census Bureau mail with information on how to respond to the 2020 Census. That means it's Census here. What's significant about it is that it happens only every 10 years. Imagine having a roll call with every single person in the U.S. That's what a census is. This helps count the population and it is still going on. Until December, the Census Bureau will deliver appointment courts to the President and Congress as required by law. So make sure you and your household participate in the 2020 census count. Seniors, don't forget to submit your senior slides, customized with a personal photo and message for the virtual graduation ceremony. More information in your emails. Now let's check out our Whoop of the Week, Cami Agricola. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Cami Agricola, and I'm your Wolf of the Week. So I'm part of NHS, CSF, Link Crew, and Key Club. I was the Vice President and President for CSF. I'm going to be attending UC Davis for undergrad, and I'm going to be studying neurology, physiology, and behavior. My favorite memory of high school is junior prom because I got to go with someone I really like and dance with them. I advise high schoolers to make the most out of their high school experience. So you should take all those opportunities to hang out with friends, find a balance between academic life and social life. Just spend all the time you can doing the things that you love. The friends that I'm grateful to have met in high school are Ben, Megan, Bud, Deanna, and Jeremiah. Shout out to Miss Raisin, I love you. Wait, look, I need to think about what to say. I'm for <laughs> right. What am I even going to It's not a it. calc test, relax, you don't have to think too hard. Bro. The derivative! Mr. Hottigy is our principal, and we had the opportunity to hear his personal quarantine life and how school is going to work out this year for seniors and, and those who will be involved in taking summer classes. Let's check out what he got for us. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Kevin Cativo and I'm with our hardworking and awesome principal, Mr. Mr. Howdigy, good morning, how are you doing? We're doing awesome. And uh, yeah, so Mr. Howdigy, tell us, um, how have you been dealing with this quarantine during these times? So uh, I definitely miss uh, working, being at, at CO. Um, you know, I definitely like the routine, being at work, you know, supporting kids and then and being with our staff. But, um, you know, the stay at home does have its perks right now. You know, I get to spend more time with my family, my kids. Um, you know, they're, they're on their online classes as well right now. You know, I got four kids. So, you know, the two older ones, they're just busy all day. Uh, the two little ones are running around. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, my little daycare thing going on. Um, but at the same time, trying to, you know, get in the, the Zoom meetings that I have. I usually have um, two or three Zoom meetings every day. And so it, it could be a challenge. Uh, in addition, my wife works as well, right? So she has her Zoom meetings. So we've adapted, right? I think now we're we're uh, experts at Zoom now, um, being an online uh, platform for communication. So yeah, we're doing the best we can during term four. So how are you working things out with seniors uh, for the graduation this year? Um, I know it's been a challenge. You know, it's a bittersweet way to uh, you know end your high school um, time in a in a quarantine type of uh, environment. Um, a lot of the current reality, we are doing the best we can. I would say um, in every uh, Zoom meeting I'm in with our district leadership and with uh, the vice principals at CO, um, you're in our conversation. And so uh, for our senior class, you know, we're doing the best we can. I saw a cap and gown distribution last week, even though it was just distributing cap and gowns and some awards was great. It was nice to see a lot of uh, our staff out there, our teachers and our staff uh, coming out to support. Um, it was great to see people in person, right? At the same time, mm -hmm. practicing social distancing. So it was great. Um, another good thing was uh, we got many and most cap and gowns out. There were only a handful left that we're going to be mailing those to families. Um, in addition to that, uh, we are working on um, uh, the virtual graduation. 
So the virtual graduation will take place on Thursday, June 4th um, at 3 p.m. And it will be broadcast on YouTube. And so in the next few weeks, I'm going to be working with our activities director um, and several other staff members and making sure um, it's the best virtual graduation we can make. Um, I want to make sure that everyone understands it's not going to be the same thing as in person. Um, mm-hmm. As you have probably seen in messages from our superintendent in our district, um, you know, we, we definitely have other plans in place. Um, but for right now, we're just focusing um, on our virtual graduation on June 4th. Great. I definitely look forward to that. <laughs> okay. So um, do you guys have any summer school plans? If so, what are they? Yeah. So that's the thing we're working on this week. Um, summer school will happen, uh, but just like term four, it will be on an app online platform. Uh, most of the classes um, will probably be on Edgenuity, which is an online platform. Um, and so right now we're focusing on recruiting teachers for summer school. Uh, we're trying to get organized on which courses we'll need and which students uh, need to make up classes. So if you definitely know that, you know, you may have gotten a, a fail in one of your classes this year or last year, make sure you connect your counselor so we can get you into a summer school class. Summer school will begin the, the week after, or not the week after, uh, the second week in June. Um, and we'll, we'll go for a few weeks into uh, mid-July. What other information do you, do you think parents and students need to know regarding school? Yeah, I mean, right now, it's, there's so much uncertainty with what's going on. There's so much uncertainty with what's going on in our world, right? And I know sometimes it's hard to, um, I don't know, to, to see into the future and be like, man, usually, you know, in the fall, this happens, or uh, in September, this happens. I think right now, I would just strongly recommend focus on the things that you have control over. And right now, that's just doing your best during term four, right? So students, just make sure you're checking in with your class daily. Um, I would ask parents, you know, check in with your kids. Um, make sure that, you know, if we're online many most hours during the day doing our schoolwork. Make sure that we're taking breaks away from our our technology, uh, connecting uh, with your loved ones at home. Thanks, Mr. Hadegi. We hope all is well with you and your family. That's all we have to, for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Kevin Cativo. And I'm Priscilla Fung. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Stay safe, Wolfpack. <laughs>